Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. Today I'm here again with another wig show and tell and today's wig is brought to you by Hair So Fly Shop. So I'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig, their direct store, and also their wig vlog. As for the cap that I have on right now, this is a old, a few days old, like three days old um, ball cap method. And I just took down my um, install that I had from over the weekend, the Labor Day weekend. So I was like, hmm, the ball cap method and still looking not too bad so i could just like reinstall my wig for work tomorrow with it so i'm just leave it like this i just had to explain to y'all real quick why i look so crazy next thing you know whatever 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 i tend to do that sorry so the brand of the wig that i have today is sensational how one their lace front wigs this is from their dashley wig line the style that I have is Lace Unit 5 and the color T4 slash Ash Blonde. This wig is curling iron safe up to 400 degrees and also come with ear to ear soft lace and it comes with a deep center part and is available in other colors. All right, y'all know the drill. I'm about to show you guys what the wig looks like straight out of the box. I really like the color. Like, it's straight up ash blonde. Like, this is so nice. And I love how the roots fade into the blonde. It doesn't come off too harsh. Like I said before, it comes with Swiss lace. Your parting is in the middle. On the inside of the wig, you get two combs in the front by the temple. And another comb in the back with adjustable straps. As for the parting, the parting comes pre-plugged, so I don't have to go in and pluck that at all. So I'm just going to keep it like that. So it's just a straight long wig, so this should be a super easy wig application. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace along the hairline and come right back to you guys. Okay, so now I went ahead and cut the lace off camera. Now I'm going to take my powder well it's actually a foundation plus concealer by ruby kisses i have this in the shade rdf 11 and i'm gonna take the darkest shade and i'm gonna apply that underneath the lace Didn't really pop up too much so let me see how it looks when I put it on my head So far the wig is like really cute, but the ends is like really working my nerves. I'm trying my hardest to get this tangle out and it's acting up. Like it's about to get snatched up. Come on. All right, that's more better. All right, that's better. Let me see if this side is okay. The wig that I received pretty much comes flat, but I'm just a little extra. So I went in with my hot comb on five degrees just to see if I can make it just a little flatter. So now I'm just going to say my quick thoughts on this wig. So first for the color, I think the color is so gorgeous. They did a great job with the color. Like this really looks straight up ash blonde. Like I dyed it myself with some box dye or something. It looks gorgeous. As for the hair itself, the texture is like on a silky to like 
yakky side and as for the parting the parting blends really well with my skin i love how natural it looks on my head like it really looked like some scalp as for the length of the wig my height is a five six and i would say the length is about 22 to eh, maybe 24 inches on me i'm not too sure to be honest but it's very long as for tangling i am getting tangling i'm getting snags here and there especially when you first get it straight out the pack start from the ends and work your way up to the roots because it's very long and you know long synthetic wigs like tangle sometimes as for shedding the wig is also shedding but it's not too much it's like on the medium side and the density the density is on the medium to low side but mostly like medium and the size of this wig is big head friendly so if you have a big head you're in for the clear if you have a small head just crisscross the adjustable straps or tie the adjustable straps the wig also does come with a luster but if you want you could go in and dip down the shine with dry shampoo or i'm not sure if people still use baby powder but i still suggest that so if you have any questions feel free to comment below and i'll see you guys in the next video later you guys